Welcome to Nanlink 2.0 Lighting Control. Today, we will take you through the key feature of this update, Light Plot. The Light Plot is a comprehensive creative tool that integrates visualized lighting design and real-time control. It aims to offer a complete lighting solution for gaffers, from initial planning to on-site adjustments. You can quickly create a light plot using the preset elements, connect and control the lighting fixtures of Nanguang, greatly optimize the workflow on set. Select a scene. Tap to enter the fixture list. Tap the menu. Tap the light plot to enter the project list. Tap Create Project to create and name it. Tap the project to enter the light plot. The screen will automatically switch to landscape mode. The light plot includes menu, element bar, left toolbar, navigation tools, and artboard. The top menu provides undo, redo, layer, fixture list, drag select, and settings functions. The layer includes hide the layer, hide the font, lock the layer, and adjust the opacity. By adjusting the opacity of different layers, you can increase the depth of view and make the main element stand out more. When the layer is locked, it cannot be selected and edited to avoid misoperation. You can check the connected fixtures in the fixture list, which also allows you to adjust the parameters of online fixtures. Tap the Drag Select button. Move your finger to select elements on the artboard for easy to move them synchronously. The settings provide Appearance, Background Image, Export Diagram, and Save As. Switchable black and white appearance allows you to clearly identify the elements, no matter in low light or bright environment. Background Image allows you to import the picture from album as the background, enrich the light plot design. Export Diagram allows you to export the light plot as picture in JPG format for you to share within the team. Bottom element bar includes light fixture, modifier, camera, talent, prop, scene, and text. Tap the element and tap the artboard. The selected element will be placed. Tap the text. You can add supplementary note. Toolbar is used to edit element, text, and control fixture. When you select the element or text on the artboard, the Element Toolbar and Left Toolbar will automatically pop up. When the fixture element is selected, it will have 90 degrees rotate, duplicate, resize, and rotate options around to help you adjust quickly. The Left Toolbar provides resize, modifier, rename, arrange, and delete. The Resize button enables you to adjust the size of the element proportionally. Tap the Modifier button. You can add modifier for the selected fixture. When the modifier is added, it will be incorporated into the fixture layer, edited, and managed with the fixture together. The Rename button allows you to edit the name, adjust the font size and color. The Arrange button. You can adjust the order if the elements overlap. Tap the element and then tap the Delete button. The element will be deleted. When the fixture element is not connected with the fixture, a connecting button will appear on the right for connecting the fixture. When other elements are selected, the options in the toolbar will be different. Please operate as needed. There are navigation tools including center button and full screen button on the bottom right corner. Tap them. You can enter the center artboard, get full screen, or cancel. In the artboard, you can make a light plot with the elements and functions mentioned earlier, and zoom in, zoom out, drag the artboard and elements for editing the light plot more precisely. Let's make a complete light plot now.
The light plot also supports the connection between the fixture element and the corresponding Nanguang lighting fixtures, providing you with a visual reference to the fixture location. Let's introduce how to connect the element with fixture in two ways. First, create element via the fixture. Tap the light fixture of the bottom element bar. Enter the light fixture interface. Tap the Add button to add a new fixture. After added, enter the light fixture interface again. Select the fixture from the connected fixtures and place it on the artboard. The element that connected to the fixture will display. Second, add fixture via the element. Tap the fixture element on the artboard. Tap the Connecting button on the right and add the fixture. After that, the fixture will be connected with element. After connected, the fixture's online state and address will display below the element. The green dot means online and red dot means offline. If it shows offline, please check whether the fixture is turned off. Reboot the fixture to reconnect with the app. Its online state will restore. When the element is connected with fixture and it shows fixture online, tap the element to check the fixture's power supply mode to adjust parameters and turn on, off. If the fixture is powered by battery, the power supply icon will display the remaining battery level. The parameter adjustment function provides adjustment availability for all parameters. Then, you will no need to manually look for fixtures and switch between multiple interfaces, but intuitively and quickly control the lighting on set, ensuring precise control over the light effects. That's it for the Nanlink 2.0 basic operations of Lightplot. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to leave a comment below or contact us through the feedback column on the app homepage. Thanks for your support.